So the Malayalam film 2018 has been selected as India's official entry for the Oscars 2024. Finally, a sensible decision. But is it the right decision? Does this film has in it to get shortlisted, then get nominated and go on to win the Oscar for the best international film? Because just being a good film is not enough. There are a lot of factors in play. So let's break them all down. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince. And on this channel, I've discussed a lot about the Oscars and India's entry for it. Now, last year, we had a golden opportunity to send RRR, which had made such big waves internationally especially in hollywood but the last year's committee just wasted an opportunity considering what happened later triple r did get an oscar but for a song it could have easily made the top five but let it be it's in the past bygone be bygone this year 2018 has been selected and let's break down if it is the right choice and for that we have to consider three things first the intention for oscars one film is submitted from every country for the best international feature film and india does that too the question is why are we sending a film first just to participate in that case send any film maybe make a list of 15 films choose one and send it who cares and that has been the attitude for some time but the second thing is to compete and when you compete you have to be tactical the biggest argument always is just send the best film but the problem with that is it's very subjective the best film for you for me will be different so maybe take a broader vote maybe collectively a big group believes this is the best film but there always be some naysayers so to resolve this just make one modification from best film make it to well-made film and suddenly it becomes objective judge it on different attributes the story how well technically it's made the performances and 2018 stands tall in all of these then let's go to the second point which film has the best chance seen oscars especially for this category the international feature film the films competing for it are already competing in all these big film festivals for over a year and that's how they create the buzz behind them and by the time oscar happens some big production or some big marketing agency join hands with one of the contenders which they think can win if not that then you need a lot of budget to put in marketing of the film to create the same buzz because the people who are voting for your film need to know that your film exists and they need to watch it to vote for it even films running in the film festival needs marketing by the way but that organic buzz also works for them because of the word of mouth one more advantage of being in a film festival is that people can see the film it's available to them at different places around the world so if your film is not traveling there a lot of voters have not seen your film now in case of triple r what helped was it was available on netflix the hindi version but it was available and more people saw triple r on netflix than in theaters and that's what created that buzz it helped it so the two factors availability and the marketing budget are the key now let's take the other indian films which were in the contention vijuthalai part one but the big problem here is part one and i don't think a film like that would work at the oscars it has to be a one whole film there's a second point also there the political angle maybe india doesn't want to send a film which shows them in a bad light because Vidu Thalai is a very political film. Then there was Sugato. It had Kapil Sharma in it. It went to different film festivals too. But I feel Nandita Das had made bigger, impactful films than this. Then there was a Telugu film Dasara in contention, which I don't think would have been a good choice. It has a lot of good things, but a lot of flaws too. Then the Telugu film Balagam, which I have not seen, how good things about. But again, it's a very small film. Then there was Miss Strategy vs. Norway. An interesting choice. And then Rocky or Rani ki Prem Kahani. If that was chosen, people would have been going mad over social media. That could have been an interesting choice, but I feel it only works in the Indian context. So out of all these, 2018 was an easy pick. It was a big film. It did really well the box office, highest grossing Malayalam film. So they have the budget to market it. And it's available on Sony to be watched. And it is available on US, how much I know. So that can help people to find the film better. Now the third point is the unique voice. Now if you see the history of this category, you will mostly find indie films. Films, films which are very personal to a director it has their own unique voice there can be outliers there can be bigger films like last year's all quiet at the western front it was a big budget film a world war film or a parasite big director big budget film but both of them had a lot of nuances both were very layered narratives even they had that personal touch and i personally think when we are sending a film there it should represent indian story it should be the indian voice it should not be the case that when someone sees a film they say oh it's like iranian cinema oh it's like european cinema no it should be like Indian cinema. And that is the reason I was advocating to send RRR. Because it was truest form of Indian cinema. Something we have created of our own. Masala cinema. It was not just truly Indian in its content, but also in its craft. And Jude Anthony Joseph's 2018 
is about a natural disaster that happened in real life in India. The film is not made like a documentary. They could have gone that way, but they didn't. They went with a more commercial appeal. But that doesn't mean it's very over the top or very melodramatic. No, not at all. They still stay grounded. And even the selection committee said they chose this film because talking about climate change, which is a big topic and a lot of attention is given to it in the West. But the film is also talking about human harmony, how in the time of a disaster, everyone came together. It's about that hope. It is about the resistance against the nature. And politically also it shows India in a good light that we faced this and came out of it. Basically, it's a story of human perseverance. And anyone in the world watching this will connect with it. And with all this, 2018 ticks every box. But from here, it's not gonna be an easy journey at all. Because the reference is of Triple R, the buzz it created. And it's very unfair to have the same expectations from it too. Because they're totally different films. The mass hysteria RRR caused in Hollywood is not easily replicable, especially by a film like 2018. And that's why there's a long road ahead for the film. I'm sure they'll start working on how to market the film. They can actually contact Puneet Monga, who is our, you know, golden lady. She has won Oscars twice. First with the international production, where she was a producer. And then last year for Elephant Whispers, she was a producer for that too. She will have a lot of contacts, so she can definitely be helpful here. Now, 2018 is a very well-made film, but it's not perfect. And you can check out my detailed thoughts here in this video. I feel tactically it was the best choice, but I'm not really sure if it can go all the way. But again, the film teaches about hope. So let's be hopeful. And must put me on the top of the world.